today we're going to talk about interior and exterior angles. So first we're going to look at inside the circle. The interior angles of a circle theorem states, if an angle is formed by two intersecting chords or secants of a circle, such that the vertex of the angle is on the interior of the circle, then the measure of the angle is half the sum of the measures of the arcs intercepted by the angle and its vertical angle. So what does that mean? First off, notice that we said that it's inside the circle, but not at the center, because um, we know that those are central angles then. And so for this, we have our two chords. So we have um, EK and GH, and we can say that those are intercepting here and here. So we could say that angle um, EFH is equal to, and this would be um, arc EH plus arc GK divided by two, because that would be half the sum of the measures of the um, intercepted angle. So the angle is equal to arc 1 plus arc 2 divided by 2. And of course, we know that um, if we look at this angle, E, F, um, H, this angle right here is a vertical angle for this one on the other side, G, F, K. So those are equal in measure. So instead of saying angle EFH, you could say angle GFK um, is also equal to EH plus GK's arc divided by 2. So you could say the big arc plus a little arc divided by 2. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the next problem. It says, use the interior angles of a circle theorem to find the numbered angles and arcs. So for this, we want to find what this angle is, angle 1. So we know that the intercepted arcs for that angle would be this one here and this one here. Because again, that is the intercepted arc of the angle. So we don't want to use the other two arcs that we have that I did not highlight. So we know that the measure of angle 1 is going to equal the big arc, so 140 degrees plus little arc, 116 degrees, divided that by 2. So when you figure that out, you should get 128 degrees. So that means that um, the vertical angle, so if this was angle 2, that would also be 128 degrees. Looking at number two, same thing. So we um, want to find the arc X, and that's given this angle here. So we know that, um, and this arc over here. So we know that these are the two arcs that we are using. The big arc and X is the little arc, and the angle is 146 degrees. So for this, we have the angle, which in this case is 146 degrees, is equal to the big arc, 177 degrees, plus the little arc, x degrees, divided by 2. So the first thing I would do is multiply both sides by 2. That cancels out. And we get um, 292 degrees is equal to 177 degrees, plus x degrees. Subtract that 177 degrees. And you end up with X being equal to 115 degrees. Looking at the next one, notice that the angle is right here. And the arcs that we are given are here and here. So notice that the arcs are not for the intercepted angle which means that we actually need to figure out what this angle is first in order to figure out 
angle X, or you could do this angle on this side over here because the same doesn't matter, same thing. So if I do this angle first, I'm going to call this Y degree. So we're going to solve for Y first. So we know the angle, so Y degrees is equal to the big arc, 131 degrees, plus the little arc, 65 degrees, divided by 2. And when we figure that out, we get Y is equal to 98 degrees. And if we know Y is 98 degrees, then notice that Y and X, because they make a straight line, they're supplementary angles, so they add up to 180 degrees, so we know x degrees plus y degrees equals 180 degrees. So in this case, we have x degrees plus 98 degrees equals 180 degrees. So we want to subtract that 98 degrees. And we get x is equal to 82 degrees. And that would be the answer. All right, so let's go ahead and do some more practice problems. So we have four and five. So for question four, and this is, and I would always make sure to get out a highlighter. It's a lot easier to see when you have a highlighter. So we're given measure of this arc here and this arc here. We're trying to find what X is equal to, and that is for this angle. So notice that angle goes along with the intercepted arc, which means we can solve. So we know that the angle, which is 2X minus 34, is equal to the big arc, so 168 degrees, plus the little arc, 36 degrees, divide that by 2. So we need to solve for x. So in order to solve for x, we first want to figure out what 168 degrees plus 36 degrees divided by 2 is, which is 2, um, 204 divided by 2 is 102. So we get 2x minus 34 is equal to 102 degrees. And then, of course, we're just solving for x. So add the 34. So you get 2x is equal to 34 plus 102 is 136 degrees. Divide by 2. And x is equal to 68 degrees. So now that we have that, we can actually figure out what the measure of angle AEB is equal to. So the one that we already marked. So all we have to do is plug in um, 68 for x. So 2 times 68 minus 34 um, ends up giving us, of course, then 102 degrees, which, oops, 120, 102 degrees, which makes sense because if you look right here, it says 2x minus 34 equals 102 degrees. So that makes sense, but you can always plug it in and check. So looking at the next one, let's do the same thing. So I'm going to highlight my um, arcs. So we have this arc here and this arc here. And the angle for the intercepted arc is 140 degrees. So we're going to use that. So we know the angle, which is 140 degrees, equals the big arc. So x plus 58 degrees plus a little arc, x minus 12 degrees divided by 2. So let's go ahead and combine our like terms. So we get 140 degrees equals x plus x is 2x, and 58 minus 12 is 46. And divide that by 2. So we're solving for x, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get that out of the denominator. So that goes away. And we end up with 2 times 140 is 280 degrees equals 2x plus 46. So subtract the 46, we get 234 degrees equals 2x, divide by 2, and you get 117 degrees. Now we want to find the measure of angle A, um, or excuse me, the measure of arc AD. So arc AD would be x minus 12. So this would be 117 degrees minus 12 degrees, which gives us 105 degrees. That's the arc. And the arc BC is x plus 58. So in this case, we would have 117 degrees plus 58 degrees, which gives us 175 degrees. And those were for all the interior angles. So you can add that to our 
um, graphic organizer that we have for this unit. All right, so the next we're going to talk about is um, outside the circle. So the exterior angles of a circle theorem states, if an angle is formed by two intersecting chords or secants of a circle such that the vertex of the angle is in the exterior, which means outside of the circle, then the measure of the angle is half the difference of the measures of the arcs intercepted by the angle. And so um, for this, again, we want to note that, notice it's an exterior, so it's on the exterior of the circle, which means, again, the outside of the circle. So vertex is on outside of circle. And we know that the angle is equal to the big arc minus the little arc divided by 2. So for, again, the interior ones, notice it was the angle equals the big arc plus the little arc divided by 2. But for exterior, you're subtracting the big arc minus the little arc divided by 2. And an order does matter because um, when you're subtracting, you have to watch out for which order you're doing that in. So you have to identify the big arc versus the... Um, little arc. All right, so let's look at the three different cases. So if you need a minute to um, draw these pictures, you can. So the first one is formed by a secant and a tangent. So remember the secant line is going to go through the circle and hit on two points, and the tangent line only hits on one point on the outside of the circle. So case two is formed by two secant lines, and case three is formed by two tangent lines. Um, and so the point of tangency for these is A and point C. So for this, um, we know that the angle that we are looking at is this angle right here. So we know that the angle, which is EXA, so angle EXA is equal to the big arc. So which one is the big arc? So remember, it has to be the intercept arc. So this would be the big arc. And the little arc is going to be from here to here. And again, it has to be inside of the angle. So the big arc, which is E, um, looks like E, T, so arc E, T, minus the little arc is R, T, and of course all of that's being divided by 2. Um, of course, we could have, instead of saying angle E, X, A, we could have also have just labeled it with these points right here, so angle um, R, X, T is equal to, again, and you could switch around the arc letter, so TE minus TR divided by 2, so that would also work. All right, so let's look at the next one. So the angle that we are looking at would, of course, be the exterior angle, which has the vertex at C, so that is the angle, and then we have the big arc, which is this arc right here, AE, and we have our small arc, which is BD. And again, notice that the arcs are in the inside of the angle. So we would say that angle um, uh, ACE, or you could say BCD, or you really could say angle C, um, but Usually we want to know which side of the angle it is. That's why we're going to use three letters. So ACE is equal to the big arc, which is AE, or of course you could write that as EA, minus the little arc, which is BD, divided by 2. So the angle equals the big arc, 
minus the little arc divided by 2. So if we look at this last case, we have our angle, which would be ABC, and our arcs. So we want the big arc, which would be this side. So ADC. And we're going to subtract that from the little arc, which of course would be the other side right here which is AC. And notice in this case, because we have two tangents, we're actually using the entire circle. Um, so angle ABC is equal to um, arc ADC minus arc AC, and of course divided by two, and we can say that um, arc ADC plus AC is equal to 360 degrees because, again, you're using the tangent lines. And remember, tangent lines hit on the point of tangency on the circles, which is on um, at point A and point C. So let's go ahead and do some practice. So here we're going to solve for the missing angle measure, which is X. So if we look we can see that x is here and here. So that outside line is a tangent line and that's a secant line. So for this, um, the intercepted arc would be this one right here. That's the big arc. And I'm gonna call that just point D. So it goes from, let's say this point A to D and the little arc would be this point from here from D to E, let's say. So in this case, we have um, angle X. The angle is equal to the big arc, 135 degrees minus the little arc, 27 degrees. Divide that by 2. So all you have to do is um, subtract and divide by 2, and you get 54 degrees. Looking at the next one, so again, we have the angle and the big arc would be this arc right here, and the small arc would be this arc right here. So the angle is equal to 72 degrees minus 18 degrees divided by 2. So x equals 27 degrees. So looking at the next one, here's my angle. And we have the big arc goes from here to here but they did not give us the measure for this side over here, which is the smaller arc. So remember that the smaller arc plus the bigger arc equals 360 degrees. So 360 degrees minus 247 degrees is equal to 113 degrees. So that's 113 degrees. So that means that X is equal to 247 degrees, the big arc minus the smaller arc divided by two, which is 67 degrees. All right, let's go ahead and do some more practice problems. Maybe you could pause the video and see if you can do these next two on your own. And when you're done on pause and we'll check our work. So for this one, we have the angle and this is the big arc and the little arc. So we have the angle is equal to the big arc minus the little arc divided by 2. So now we're solving for the little arc. First thing we do is multiply both sides by 2. So when we do, we get 54 degrees is equal to 114 degrees minus x degrees. So subtract 114 and we get negative 60 degrees equals negative x degrees divide by negative 1 and x is equal to 60 degrees for that little arc. Looking at the next one, we have this angle right here, and we are given this is x, but we're not given what the arc measure is from here to here. So how do we solve the problem? So we know that the angle equals the big arc minus the little arc divided by 2. Well, we know the angle is 50, and we know the little arc is x. So remember that since these are tangent lines, 
that means that this other side is going to be 360 degrees minus x. So we're going to use that in order to help us solve. So we get 50 degrees is equal to the big arc, which is 360 degrees minus x minus the little arc, which is x over 2. So the first thing we do is multiply both sides by 2. And once we do, we get um, 100 degrees is equal to 360 degrees minus x minus x. So minus 1x minus 1x is minus 2x. So then um, we're going to subtract the 360. So we subtract 360 degrees. We get negative 260 equals negative 2x. And of course, we're dividing both sides by negative 2. And we get x is equal to 130 degrees. All right, so let's go ahead and look at problems 10 and 11. So for these two problems, again, maybe try to see if you can pause the video and answer the questions on your own. Um, but before you do that, I think I needed to fix one of the problems um, over here. This should have been 2x plus 23. Let's change that. So 2x plus 23 degrees for that one. And I think that was the only other thing we needed to change. So this would be angle B, yeah, okay, so that is the only thing. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can um, solve these on your own when you're done on pause to check your work. So first thing I'm gonna do is highlight, we have this exterior angle and we are going to be using for that angle, this is the big arc and this is the little arc. So since it's exterior, we know the angle is equal to the big arc minus the little arc divided by 2. And if I um, simplify that, we get 34 degrees equals 3x minus 1x is 2x in the numerator. And then we have negative 2. And then you would distribute this negative right here, of course. So negative 2 minus 6 is minus 8 all divided by 2. So the next step would be, of course, to multiply by 2 to get that out of the denominator. So we get 68 degrees is equal to 2x minus 8. And so add the 8, 76 degrees equals 2x divided by 2, and you get x is equal to 38 degrees. So arc AB of course, is the 3x minus 2. So arc AB is equal to 3 times 38 degrees minus 2, which gives us 112 degrees. Arc AC, um, we changed, remember. So that is 2 times 38 degrees plus 23 which gives us 99 or yeah 99 degrees and then we also want to find um, arc ABD so that would be um, just to highlight so A to B to D is all the way from there to there so in order to find this arc, we are also need to figure out what arc um, CD is because we're going to take all the measures and set it equal to 360. So let's go ahead and find CD first before we do that. So CD arc is equal to X, which is 38 plus 6, which gives us 44. And so we know that, um, let's go ahead and label up here. So AB was 112 degrees. And then AC we said was 99 degrees. And AB, or excuse me, CD is 44 degrees. So we know again, full circle is 360 degrees. So that means um, that 
the measure of arc A, B, D is going to be equal to 360 degrees minus 99 degrees minus 112 degrees minus 44 degrees, which gives us 217 degrees. No, sorry, that's a hundred and I was thinking of the other one, 105 degrees. Sorry about that. So it gives us 105 degrees. And that is it for that first problem 11. Let's go ahead and do 12. No, sorry, we did. It's okay. So this is 105 degrees, and we want to figure out A, B, D. So this was um, just for, sorry, this was just for arc B, D. So we had to find B, D first. So that means that arc A, B, D is equal to 105 degrees plus 112 degrees which that's what gives us the 217 degrees. Sorry about that. So first we found the measure from here to here, which is again, 105 plus the AB, because we want ABD, sorry about that. So question number 12, let's see, we're given this angle, which intercepts this arc right here and this arc right here. So this one is a small one, of course. So we know that the angle, which is 5x minus 11, equals the big arc, which is 4x minus the little arc, x minus 34, all divided by 2. So for this one, first I would um, combine your terms in your numerator. So you're going to have to distribute this negative. So we get 5x minus 11 equals 4x minus 1x, which is 3x plus 34 divided by 2. The next thing I would do is multiply both sides by 2. So when we do, we get um, 10x minus 22 is equal to 3x plus 34. So subtract the 3x. 7x minus 22 equals 34. Add the 22. 7x is equal to 56. Divide by 7. And x is equal to 8. And we want to find angle A. So angle ABC. So ABC is this angle right here. So our exterior angle. So angle A, B, C equals 5 times 8 minus 11, which gives us 29 degrees. And that is it for this one. So again, make sure you add your interior angles and exterior angles to your graphic organizer. Um, and so again, the um, exterior angle is the big angle minus the little angle divided by 2, where the interior angle, as long as it's not at the center, is the big arc minus, or excuse me, plus the big, big arc plus the little arc divided by two equals the angle.